my greetings to all of you. And the gain is totally mine. I have been connected with those who are foot soldiers of Bharat at 2047. Vote our Bharat will be in 2047. You will carry the message on your shoulders by your dedication and work. Dr. J.P. Samanto, the most important man in policy planning of this country, that is home to one-sixth of humanity. The relevance of this institute, the relevance of this particular mechanism, the, well, the relevance of this department was never more relevant than today. His contributions will finally strengthen Indian economy, bring about social upliftment, and the mission that we must reach effectively, impactfully, the last in the row, he is the man who is bringing it about. Sri Satyendra Bahadur Singh Ji, Director General, distinguished members of the faculty, members of the service, and most important, my dear young impressionable minds who motivate and inspire boys and girls of your generation because you are achievers. I share one thing in common with you. When I did my BSc honors at Maharaja's College in Jaipur, I had physics honors and statistics as a subject. So I came to know about mean median, mode, interpolation, and the more. My warmest greetings to all of you on your induction into the Indian Statistical Service. Trust me, with each year passing, you will get real pride because this service, the relevance will be incremental. I am pleased to meet the young, brilliant professionals who will be playing a crucial role in evolution of policy measures for building a strong and prosperous Bharat. You will reimagine on ground and translate as a reality what our Bharat used to be at one point of time. Your service, my young friends, has a rich legacy of contributing significantly to our nation's growth and development. When I was elected to parliament in 1989, and I was also inducted in the union ministry, I was wondering what these two ministries do, parliamentary affairs and the ministry concerned with the statistics. I learned with experience, they are the most important ministries. And those who are lucky to be associated never forget it. A statistics is just not about numbers. It is about deciphering the patterns and trends that guide our policy decisions. And mind you, a wrong policy can lead to disastrous results. If there is failure to evolve a timely policy, the people can fail. But if there is a policy in time for the right cause, for the right people, the results are not only rewarding, they are not arithmetic, they are geometric. Statistics, it enriches our understanding of society. When you look at the society from a di distance or at close quarters, you are only scratching the surface, but you delve deep into it. Sometimes what appears to be really rosy picture is a cause of serious concern. A person may look healthy, but on deep diagnosis he may be suffering a real serious ailment. So you diagnose the societal elements and help the government evolve a policy that can really bring about the big change. You are that category of human resource that can empower the society more than others. 
you were undergoing rigorous training, I was reflecting. You wouldn't love the secretary and the other officials because they have trained you. They have put you to task. You will ever remember them in all your career that they shaped you. Even when a stone is shaped, and if we assume that a stone has life, even when a diamond is put in their shape, there is, you see, rough edges have to be taken care of. But what appears is something full of embellishment. You all are before me in that category. As officers of the Indian Strategic Service, you will be architects of evidence-based policy making and visionaries who transform numbers into meaningful insights. You are antidote to edocism. You are antidote to experimentation the wrong way. You are most rational and scientific in doing your job. In a world driven by data, your skills and experience become invaluable. It was reflected by the first speaker. A set for effective response even citizen centric governance. Let me tell you, we are in an age of disruptive technologies. We hear about artificial intelligence, Internet of Things. But you will have to employ technology for your job. You may have to analyze data fast. Machine learning may be a mechanism that will empower you to look at the data from a rational point of view. And I'm sure all of you will devote time to get into that. So, ethical dimensions of your work cannot be overstated. Let me remind you of an incident, a real incident. One of the top global five auditing companies, their job is nearly the same as yours. When they sign the balance sheet of a company, the shareholders, the stakeholders must be duly well informed. But that globally reputed company, one of the top five, collapsed because it placated the customer. That is the corporate management. Ignore the interest of stakeholders. You are therefore required to exhibit the highest standards of ethics. As statistical, statistical officers, you are interested with a very sacred past duty to present data truthfully and impartially. No one wants to look in the mirror. No, wants, no one wants to face the reality. If I start a particular scheme, my ears will receive, sir, this scheme has been a grand success. Sir, look at what coverage we have got. You are beyond that. You are not X-ray. You are not CT scan. You are not even MRI. You are the finest refinement of MRI to tell frankly, objectively, that our data reveals this. Rest is for you to take a call. Your commitment to integrity will not only define your professional reputation, but also contribute to building trust in institutions you represent. My young friends, I urge you to continue cultivating a spirit of curiosity and a commitment to continuous learning. Embrace new methodologies, technologies, and advancements in your field. Collaborate with your peers and your professionals recognizing that the most innovative solutions often emerge from diverse perspectives. The most illuminating idea can come from a person whom you may take as ignorant or uninformed. Learning must never stop. You have to be best in the world. It was pleasantly informed to me by the secretary that after two decades, India will be part of the United Nations Statistical Commission. You will get opportunities. I urge all of you to examine working of your department in other nations 
and you will find most of the developed countries that have attained that status is on account of accurate data being there. A systemic solution is the only solution. A solution emanating from a brilliant mind, which is not systemic oriented, doesn't have much self life. And therefore, your role is very, very criti critical. You are the ones who can contribute effectively. We are lucky to have a Prime Minister who is passionate about development of all. What is the mission that our Bharat should be at peak in 2047 as a developed nation? He is in mission mode. His achievements are stupendous. The global, global authorities have recognized it. When we look around, IMF, World Bank, they are all place for India. India is taken to be the favorite destination of investment and opportunity. Look at our situation, where we were in terms of economy, just 10 years back. Now we have overtaken UK and France. Japan and Germany are next by 2030. But these accomplishments will get qualitative edge with your contribution. The capacity of Indian genius is globally recognized. And that is why the World Bank president said, India's digital penetration that happened in six years could not have possibly happened in 47 years. That's where we stand at the moment. Our digital financial infrastructure is now being adopted by several countries, including Singapore. Our ISRO is launching satellites of USA, UK, Singapore. There was a time when our own satellite was launched in the 60s from another place, another country. All I mean to indicate to you is that what I never dreamt What I never thought will happen when I was your age. But you are now gifted with an ecosystem. Even about 10 years back, our power corridors were infested with power brokers. They were leveraging decisions. And you know it now. Power corridors have been fully sanitized. This is a very big achievement that will help merit prosper and you are part of merit. Look at the another big change that has come close. There was a time people thought Kanun Hamara kya kar lega? Kanun to hamari muthi mi hai. Kanun ka sikhanda hamari gardan tak kabhi aai nahi sakta. Wo sab kus kar kar bhi chayn ki nahi sote the. Aaj jamana badal gaya. कानून के सिकंजे से कोई दूर नहीं है आपने कानून की अवहेलना की है आपने दुराचरण किया है कानून आप तक पहुंचेगा कानून की दस्तक आपके दरवाजे पर आएगी और ये आप और हम आज देख रहे हैं ये भारत में बड़ा बदलाव है वाई वी फील फील प्राउड बींग मेंबर ऑफ अ डेमोक्रेटिक नेशन भारत इज मदर ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी because all are equal. Your background will indicate you are not in this service because of succession, lineage, patronage. No, I am not here because of that also. I am here because of my education, my perspiration, my hard work, and my scholarship made all the difference. Same is the story of all of you. Imagine after 25 years where you will be you will be playing a very critical, crucial role in shaping the destiny of this nation. This is because we have a mechanism now where every young person is in a position to exploit his or her talent fully, realize dreams and aspirations. Regardless of law, regard the law, we have changed it. 
we had a legal regime that was colonial driven that has been unshackled we had a system earlier dand vidhan ab nyay vidhan because nyay vidhan emanates from our civilization ethos of thousands of years the past century i had the good fortune to see 11 girls being part of this group but what did not happen in three decades reservation for women in lok sabha and state legislatures was brought about by near unanimity both in lok sabha and rajya sabha only two members opposed it which means hamare sanskriti hai baat chit karo डायलॉग करो झगड़ा मत करो कंफर्टेशन मत करो कोलोब्रेशन करो ये सबका देश है सबका विकास एक साथ होगा एंड दैट इज द न्यू नोम वी आर गेटिंग एडवांटेज ऑफ इट दिस जनरेशन ऑफ रिमार्केबली ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड डिजिटली एनेबल्ड इको सिस्टम प्रेजेंट्स अ ह्यूज अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंडियन स्ट्रेटेजिकल सर्विस this opportunity i can tell you boys and girls is a great challenge and it is a challenge that gets best out of you sometimes you will find a person is not performing but when you give that person a challenging job you come to know that he is remarkable he performs so well he surprises one and all and they never be under stress or tension never have that ob- uh, obsession with inferiority complex I have had interaction with global organizations. We do feel hesitant for first few minutes. It is our talent, our hard work. Never hesitate to say, "I don't know. I'll come back with the right answer." Never play blind. And surely those engaged in statistics can never play blind. If they choose to play blind, they may be playing with the lives of millions. i wish you great success in your career and uh, i have no doubt that the kind of progress this country is having on sea vikrant a new vikrant was launched by the prime minister our country made frigates come to our aeroplanes tejas helicopters submarines and look at we have gone to the moon our phenomenal rise is remarkable never be deterred by those who have poor digestive system for our growth they are chronic critics nothing is more dangerous than a knowledgeable man he knows the truth but he doesn't speak it he exposed the ignorance of others for political equity that is very dangerous you are brilliant minds of this country and many like you may not be in service they have ample opportunities outside to realize their ambitions we cannot allow a bad ball for the nation to go unpunished every bad boy for the nation emanating from any source whatsoever must be severely dealt with we have to believe in our nation our nation is our foremost priority we are proud citizens of bharat bhartiyata is our culture we must take pride in our achievements which the world is praising some of us out of design out of ignorance out of promotion seek to demean us never be worried about it i am a sufferer a sufferer knows how to withstand from inside take all affronts all insults with one direction we are in the service of our bharat mata 
you will have to show integrity you will have to exhibit high ethical standards there will be pressures and counter pressures the secretary knows that many a business thrive because of statistical data if he were to reveal his mind how industries prosper on data how government policies are moderated by data so they think let us manipulate the data and our balance sheet will go up he knows it you will face those pressures anyone in position even in my position of constitutional head of rajya sabha i am the chairman there i am the vice president of the country people don't despair me should that change my mindset no should that result in deviation of path no on a path of righteousness we must always proceed but friends never ignore there may be other point of view no one is infallible no one is wrong to oneself no one is wisdom unto oneself i might have seven several things on which i need to learn from you i must absorb them we must be open minded the other point of view sometimes may be the right point of view but then those who do it with design to distract your attention to derail you from path of service you must show your spinal strength it's a moment for me that our bharat is in safe hands i have no doubt 2047 bharat will be a developed nation and i wish you a guru thank you so much wish you merry christmas happy new year be ever blessed be in good health always respect your parents be in touch with each of the batchmates and never ever have tension i can assure you one thing heavens have never fallen historically how my assurance they will not fall in your life any time thank you